on today's episode we're gonna be doing heated grips on an arctic cat vlx 700 cc atv so we got some parts we got genuine arctic cat handlebar some warmer kit and stuff but we got I believe that's the part number. E slash N 0436-352. Alright, we got some heat grip grip glue. We got that. We got the instructions how to install it. Here's the cable system. There's the pads. These are the heated pads. You wrap those around the bars and then you slide your your these thingy jiggies, the grips on top of it, and that's how it heats them up. Yeah. So it looks like plug and play into the harness, into the engine uh, harness of the ATV. Engine harness or wiring harness? Uh, engine wire, it doesn't matter, whatever. It clicks into the goddamn <laughs> thing. Whatever, it'll make it work, it'll make it work. All right, first thing it says, is cut off the old grips. Take an exacto knife and just slice them. And now, last one is the throttle cable. Do you have a cover for that? Yeah. They provide heat shrink. So you just heat shrink it on. So for the left hand side, it's gonna be on the side. So peel off the backing. I'm gonna do it like that. Like that, do it like that. Just press and wrap it around. Now this one, wrap it around. There we go. And that's it. That's how it's gonna look. Yep. Okay. Thumb pad. Peeling it. From the back side, from the back side here, let's place it down. Right there. So all it is is just metal contact. It's a metal plate we're sticking onto the metal, so it heats up the whole metal assembly when it's warming up. It's a metal element. So you don't want it on the front because that's where your thumb goes and that's gonna be awkward. So that's why you put it on the back side of the unit. And that's it, so we got that. Now we're gonna do the grips, install the grips. Okay, so inside the kit from Articat comes with two hand grips. So we're gonna use those. Engrave the art Arctic head on there. Visible over. Alright, so we got the glue and the grips and stuff. So we're gonna start doing that. Why is it like this? What the metal? The Instead, thing. That thing is like the heat element kind of thing. So think of this when you're looking at this. Think of this as your toaster. When you look inside the toaster, when you turn it on, it glows red. So these little things are yeah. gonna warm up. It's This is gonna warm up the metal bar. So the whole bar is gonna be warm. It's so the silver, up. not the, yeah, is the what? the silver and so. And your grips are just on top and the heat's gonna soak into the rubber. And that's thus creating 
a warm spot kind of thing. Okay. Okay, put on the glue a little bit. Why don't you uh, use hairspray like you did on your dirt bikes? Because this is Steve's bike. This is Steve's bike, so we got to do it right for him and stuff. Okay, so if it was your bike, how would you do it? If this was your ATV. You really want that answer? I don't know, do I? No <laughs> divide, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> 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 you wouldn't even put any glue on it? No. Do you think that the handlebar would stay? Yeah. Of course it stay. Yeah. I just twist it. Make sure it's straight. I'm gonna put the Arctic cat like that level. Okay, next is thumb. So they gave heat shrink as a cover. Right. That goes over like that. They say to use a heat gun. I have a blowtorch, a mini blowtorch that I'm gonna use. Nice and tight. Okay, so that one's good, that one's good. So, it's like a jumper cable. They're all three lines are jumping together. I'm gonna take some dielectric grease. I like using dielectric grease for all electrical connections because you don't know what you're gonna do with the unit. Anything, so maybe if you wanna go off-roading or go in the lake. They just click in, so each one just clicks in. No way. Is that that? Where's the other one? One more. It doesn't matter which order you plug them in. They're all the same. There. We're going to just shove it down there like that. It's just going to hang like that. And now you have your three wires. So the yellow is going to be your ground. So that's going into the frame. You have to find a place in the frame and uh, use self tapping screws. And then your green and your black are going to go to your switch, your high low switch. I think I thought it was. Uh, going to be the on off switch that's it but this one's not it's actually low down middle off and then high so it's a three-way switch and since we have to use this right now as temporary it's a half inch hole that you have to drill into your bike depends where you want it and the instructions just shows that it's on the fender here on the side of the bike but well, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna put it here on the dash itself. I'm gonna drill a half inch hole and we're gonna mount it like that so it's easy access and it's up away from water or dirt. So if you, if uh, Steve ever decided to go into the mud or take a ride in the lake, it's gonna be protected. Okay, so I gotta step there. I'm gonna need to step there and just go. Through, just go First, we're gonna see. Oh, so, I marked the plastic right here. Before doing anything, make sure there's no wires behind. So that happened. Beautiful. 
Great success. So looking at the instructions, we're looking at the plug high. So hold this in your hand. So this is high. Anything. So now look on the side. Right, high is the top one. Top one's going to be green wire. Middle one's going to be the red wire, accessory power. And then the bottom one's going to be a black wire. So that's how this thing, the switch, is wired. So don't get twisted, bro. Don't get twisted, bro. Don't get twisted, bro. Do it right. Make sure you don't burn down the bike. Okay, switch. Hi there. So red wire goes in the middle. That's what we're gonna do with that. Now, top wire you got green. So on the wiring harness itself. You're taking green, and putting it here. Okay. In the instructions, it just says plug in your wires straight to the switch like that and install it. And it's a Noella, you're done. But then I thought about it, I just, because I just plugged in the right one, I was like, bro. These are all open contacts. So if you go in the water or in the mud, all these connections are going to oxidize right away and uh, create a short circuit. I've got some shrink wrap, so I'm going to put some shrink wrap my connections like that on the terminals here. Do that like that, shove it down. And this fancy one. I think we're going to bend it down for now. It's like a jumper. So our shrink wrap could go over it like that. So put a little bit of dielectric grease on there. So we get a connection no matter what. So there you go. Now shrink wrap over it. Shrink wrap over it. Hold it in place like that. Flip parts. Good enough. It's not a hundred percent seal, but it works. Shrink crap. That like that. Pinch it down like that. Next, black wire, bottom. Give it a little sniff. Oh, shit, a little too much. Okay, black wire. There's your wiring. Yellow is ground, that goes to the frame. Red is trigger wire to your accessories. Okay. Very right, low. Okay, I'm getting up for Canada. Okay. <laughs> so accessories are gonna be this gold, or what is this, orange and black line. That's gonna be your accessory, accessory line power. So, in that case, I'm going to leave that much space. I'm going to cut it and hope for the best. Okay. So, got this, this, this. 
got my stems here. Cut a little bit longer. Twist the wires like that. Because you're going to take this line and we're going to wrap it around the accessory line here. So I'm going to try to squeeze this thing in there. So there you have it. You have that wire. So put these wires together like this. Twisty, twisty, around like that. And stop. Yep. Now that's good. Now get your soldering iron. Okay, after you do the soldering, now I'm going to use liquid tape. I'm going to use liquid tape on the open connection there. Put a dab like that. Alright, next we got to ground the ground wire. So, I've got a piece of frame right here that we could grind. I'm my just going to scratch up the surface here so the ground wire is going to have a good ground. I'm going to take my drill. I'm going to use half inch self tappers, metal screws. So there's your ground. That's your ground wire. That's done. Okay, so that's all done. The wiring's done there. That's done. Let's have to put another coat on later on. But all the wiring is done now. So all the plastic panels are on. Grips are on. Everything's good. Good. Uh, let's try to start. Yeah, that didn't take long at all. Two minutes. All right, guys. So there you have it. Quick install. Well, it's not really quick. It took a couple hours of doing it, doing it right. So for the heated grips and some throttle kit from Arctic Cat for a 2017 Arctic Cat. VLX 700 quad. So, what do you think of uh, Arctic Cat now? Arctic Cat, I know, man. I always liked Arctic Cat and stuff. So it's a great quality bike. It's like a good bang for your buck. Compared Honda. to Honda? Well, Arctic Cat is the cheapest. Thing to buy versus the Hondas, Yamahas, Kawasaki's, Suzuki's, blah blah blah, and stuff, Can Am, and stuff. But Articad does make a quality product, and so it works 700, so it's much better than a 500. You got a little bit more power, it's not overkill like an 850 or 1000, and it's a great deal. Steve was Steve paid five grand for this thing, brand new, for straight from the dealer. You can't even look at that price for like a Honda or a Can Am or anything else. Those are like ten thousand easy and stuff. So it's it's worth it. I like it. it gets the job done. It works. It's reliable. It don't break down. What's up? So yeah, I like it. Articat, if you're looking, sponsor, bro. It's sponsor. <laughs> kind of thing. Don't worry. I'll take care of the Articat. And stuff. I won't torture it, bro. bro. <laughs> Anyways. All right, guys, so thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and stuff. Besides that, I don't know what to say. Kind of thing. Be so, bro. That's it. That's a good one. Let's take this back.
Good job.